Hi all, today we're going to talk about statistical power. So to begin, let's first introduce the p-value, what that means. So if you can recall from hypothesis testing, the p-value is the probability computed, assuming that the null hypothesis is true, that the statistic would take a value as extreme or more extreme than the one actually observed in the test. So what this means essentially is that we're assuming that the two groups will be equal, and we're seeing the likelihood that we would get a value as extreme or more extreme than the one that was actually found on the test. So power is directly related to this. However, it's the flip side of the coin. And by that, what I mean is that we're assuming that an alternative hypothesis is true. So the power of a hypothesis test is the probability that the test correctly rejects the null hypothesis when a specific alternative hypothesis is true. So if you can recall, alternative hypotheses, these are hypotheses that there are, there are group differences, so it's not equal to the null, or that one group is greater than or less than the null hypothesis. So to increase this probability of finding a significant result, there are a few things that you can do, and all of these increase power. So the first of which is to increase your sample size. The greater your sample, the more power you're going to have. And there are a few other things too that I'll show you using a simulation that hold true to all the different types of tests that you're going to do. So um, right now I'm just doing a quick simulation with a one sample t-test to show you um, how this works. So if it's a one or a two-tailed test that affects power, uh, one-tailed tests are more powerful than two-tailed tests. As you can see, there's a sample size of 27 needed to get the power that we're looking for, which is 0.8, which is an 80% chance of finding group differences. So when we run it with a single tail, we need a sample size of 27. However, when you run it with a two tail, you need a sample size of 34. So using a one tail test increases power. Another thing that increases power is having a larger effect size. So what that means is that the larger the group differences are, the more likely you are to find a significant result. So right now, the effect size is 0.5, which is actually already pretty large. But if we were to change it to 0.8, you would see that the sample size will shrink. And then also the probability rate, the alpha. So what we need to set our p-value to, to claim significant results. Usually 0.05 is what we use in the field of psychology. But um, you can use other things as well. So at 0.05, it will need 27 participants. But if you set the alpha to 1, you'll need more evidence. So you'll need a larger sample size. And really, that's how power works. Uh, thank you for watching.